going to take my Morphe N35 palette and I'm going to go in with this kind of neutral cool tan color and then I'm going to go in a little bit with that purple shade. To deepen that purple shade, I'm taking my BH Cosmetics Smokey Eye 28 Eyeshadow Palette and I'm going in with that deep purple shade and I'm just going to focus this on my outer crease. is so dramatic well it's going to be so dramatic i decided to use the tape method so i'm just going in and putting tape on both sides of my eyes then i'm going to go in with the masquerade palette by juvia's place and i'm going to be mixing the shades makita and chai i didn't show that i just showed that i was using makita but i actually did end up mixing them both and i focused them just on my outer cut crease a little bit and i really wanted to deepen that so it had a bit of a more dramatic look to it oh, company. Can we keep each other company To the modern renaissance palette by anastasia beverly hills and i'm going to be taking the shade tempera i have fell in love with this as an eyebrow highlight for my eyeshadow i love it so i'm just going to go in with that with this fluffy brush from bh cosmetics i believe and i'm just going to blend it out taking my eye base in the shade milk which is a white base you guys know I love this shade by NYX they're jumbo eyeliners and I'm going to actually use an eyeshadow brush today because I want it to be a little precise with the shape of my eye that I'm carving out damp eyeshadow brush i'm going back into that masquerade palette with this really vibrant blue shade called dahlia I went ahead and did my eyeliner and now I'm just going to go ahead and do my primer so that I can give it time to actually sit and so it's not super oily and slippery when I apply my foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'm going to apply the glitter. It's important to apply your eyeliner before glitter so that it's more durable and it's not so chunky to deal with. <laughs> Look at my sideburns of a grown man. So next I did the dumbest thing ever. Yes, that happened. <laughs> but moving forward, I'm applying my Ardell Eyelash Glue. I believe that's what it's called. I'm just, I don't know why it's taking me so long to get a, um, a glitter glue. I guess because every time the kind that I want is always out of stock, I just always forget. But anyways, I'm going to be applying that as my eyeshadow glitter base. Oh. 
but I'm going to be taking my True Match L'Oreal Foundation in the shade N7 and I'm going to be blending that out. Of course, I have already applied my powder foundation and now I'm going in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Ivory Babe. And I'm doing something a little different today. I'm going to be taking a brush instead of my beauty blender. Because this powder is so much lighter than my skin tone, it is really, really hard to manage sometimes for me. And it has me looking ghostly a little bit. Um, it still had that effect just a little bit, but not as bad as it normally would if I use my beauty blender. shades that I used on my cut crease to the bottom of my lash line and I actually mixed all of those shades together and Zobo as well from the masquerade palette we keep, keep each other company. Oh. 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 I'm going in with an oldie but goodie the Rimmel London eyeliner stick in the shade nude i love this off-white color i think it just adds that perfect touch to any look that you're going for oh, oh, oh. okay back into the tutorial i'm taking my scandal eyes by maybelline for my lower lashes into that BH Cosmetics palette I'm taking this pink type of metallic color I thought it would be better for this galaxy look instead of doing my normal gold or white pigment <laughs> So I don't believe I said, but I did go in with my Mary Kay blush in the shade Brick. And now I'm going in with my Milani highlight in the shade Glow Light. And I do OD on my highlighter, but this is my preference. I pack it on there and then I blend it out. For lips, I am going in with my 99 Cent Beauty Supply Store Brown lip liner you guys know i love these lip liners and i'm going to be taking these two random like glossy galaxy colors what i mean by that? metallic let me say metallic there we go metallic would be the better word i want to go in with these two metallic colors okay this is the little gloss i was talking about i know my mom actually bought this from a random person who was like some lady was selling makeup at the hair salon 
um, but I can put it in the description box below. But I actually do have a, I believe it's Ruby Kisses lip gloss that I put on top that is very similar to this. They don't sell them anymore. But yeah, I thought it would be the perfect touch to this look. And this is definitely just a regular eyeshadow brush because I'm lazy. So yeah.